Good morning, hello, hello, hello. A bright, gorgeous, gorgeous morning, morning with me. I hope it is bright and sunny in your world. Hello, I'm Joanna Hall and welcome to my morning instant body booster. So it's Monday, it's live, it's 8 a.m. And if you're catching up on uh, later, I hope you're really well as well. So thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel, Joanna Hall Walk Active. Big welcome to my Facebook uh, group people who've come on over. So it's lovely to have you here. So in this session, it's the first of three and I have a special focus on hands, feet or ankles and wrists and hip flexors. So you may think, okay, Monday morning, maybe not in the most sexy area to be addressing, but it's part of my whole posture enhancing system to help you look better, feel better and perform better uh, with simple stretching mobility exercises that will really complement your walk active system. So this is how I'd like your room set up today. Um, obviously you can need a mat, don't think you're on your feet. Um, a chair, you are gonna need to have a chair and you might just want to have something that you can just roll up and put underneath your knees if you want to have a little bit of extra um, cushioning in that sense. But other than that, you just need your body. And often these are areas of the body that, that I have been requested to do this uh, routine for you. And in my mind, they're actually so neglected, but actually very, very important. Um, your wrists, for example, very often many people, um, when they're in their Pilates practice or yoga practice, or actually even if you have a fall, these wrists really actually take so much impact through the body and we tend to neglect them. So we, it's really important to have good mobility, but also good functional alignment from how we use our, our hands, especially for a desk all day. And um, with respect to the ankles and the hip flexors, the more mobility that we actually have in the ankle joint and also the ability to open up the hip flexor will reduce the discomfort we can experience in the lower pain, in the lower back. And also by enhancing the mobility of the ankle, it will really mean that as we peel off the back foot, there's less strain on our knees. And the correct tracking of the foot going up into the hip will also mean that the um, alignment is gonna be better so there's less um, strain on the knees as well. So, there's no reason not to be doing this, people. Okay, shall we crack on? Let's begin. So today, believe it or not, we're actually gonna start on the floor, which is quite unusual for me if you're one of my regulars. So come on down and just start to have a nice, full body length stretch with yourself. So just ease yourself down nice and gently. Check you've got lots of space around you and just come to a point of stillness. And what I'd like you to do is just extend your hands above your head. I feel how tall you are for, uh, for a moment, just be aware of that. And start by taking three big deep breaths. Now as we start to be having this lovely first deep breath in, so breathe in. And as you come to the top of that in-breath, then start to add the length through the body. So the sequencing of that is quite important. So a big deep breath in, hold it at the top, and then add the stretch, and then just release down, okay? Because if you try to stretch as you take the in-breath in, you'll feel a bit restricted. So start with a deep inhale, breathe in. As you reach the top of that inhale, start to then add the length through the body. So feel how you extend through the joint, space, 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 reach, reach, lower back, make come off the floor and then just relax it down. Let's do one more of those lovely people. Here we go. So start to inhale, deep breath in. And as you do that, at the top of the in-breath, start to gather that extra length and really reach through the body. Feel that length and the height that you're meant to be in the world today. Breathe in. And then just let it all release out. Good job. Now, from here, bring the hands down by your sides and flex your feet, almost like you're standing on a platform um, underneath you. And specifically, energize through your heel pad. So you feel that you start to activate posterior chain of the body. So push through the heel pad and just draw your toes towards you a little bit, okay? And then point your toes really firmly away. So just trying to get a little bit of dorsi implant flexion, pointing and flexing the feet. So like platform, both together, and then point them away, okay? Now from here, just ease gently. I'd like you to put your hands on the lower part of the belly because the whole body is actually connected and ease one foot in toward your body. Now I'd like you to hold behind the knee so there's no strain on the knee here. So hold onto the thigh and just do a little comfortable drawing in towards your chest where that over feels comfortable. Now with the extended leg, just start to point that leg and then flex that foot. So as you start to point, Maybe you feel how there's more muscular action happening through this leg. Maybe you also start to feel maybe a bit of a stretch over the hip flexor. Just do a couple more here, and then come to a point of stillness. So you activate and start to wake up this foot. This one comes to stillness, and now with this angle here that you've drawn into the chest, just start to circle with the foot. So you just 
rolling it round with some nice circles. Take a deep breath in. Squeeze it maybe a little bit further in so you just open up the hip flex, just get the mobility here in the lower back and also in the glutes. And then gently ease that back down to the floor. Leave your hands here on the abdominal so you start to feel how that air in may be connected and draw the other one in, okay? So here we go, draw this one in nice and gently. Think about how you move your body here. And then just feel comfortable with the upper body so there's no tension. And you're gonna flex that extended foot and then point it. So again, just as we started off, starting to wake up the extended leg. Maybe you'll feel a little bit of a stretch here on the hip flexors. And the more you draw this leg in towards your chest, the more you'll feel that will opening, open up that hip flex as well. So we're just taking it easy to begin with in this session. So this is the first, remember, of three with a specific focus. So I'm starting to draw this circle now with my ankle. Good job, how's that feeling for you, all right? And then gently bring those feet down to the floor. So be, both feet now will be flat on the floor and your knees are gonna be pointing to the ceiling. Wriggle your feet out so they're the same width as your mat. And you may feel that you've actually got one foot on the edge of the mat and one on the carpet. And just feel those ten different textures underneath your feet. And then from here, what I want you to do is just rock and roll. So both knees, one come one way, nice and gently. And then just ease the other way. Now, depending on how you're feeling today, just start this gently, okay? and just start to get a little bit of mobility in the middle and the lower spine specifically. But you can also start to open up the hip flexor here. So as you come over, this top leg and knee, think about energizing that knee down towards the opposite corner of the room, okay? Now from here, stay here, and the same arm, the same leg, extend it up so you're almost on a little bit diagonal, just give me a bit of a reach. Take a big deep breath in. Stretch, 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 and then just trace a circle all the way down back to that leg. Let's do that again. So come up to the shoulder, extend the arm up, and just trace the arm around in a circle. So you're really feeling how you've got a connection all the way through this body. Good job. Opening up the hip flexors. Draw the abdominals in, and we're going to take this to the other side. So just draw in a little bit, nice and controlled, and then let your knees drop this way. Okay? So think about energizing that knee a little bit so there's a little bit more opening here and connection through the top leg. Extend that hand now up over your head. Take a deep breath in and then just trace that hand, big, big circle as wide as you can and bring it back to that top thigh. And again, extend up through the arm, just drawing around. I'm quite a keen fan of being able to touch your body because it allows you to build body awareness of where your body's moving and how you're feeling today. So just bring it back here and then rest the arms to the side. Draw the abdominals a little bit, and you're just gonna come back to a center position. Now from here, wriggle the feet in, just take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you're gonna drop your knees to this side, okay? Now from here, roll this side, and you're just gently gonna push yourself up on to all fours. Now, you can put a blanket underneath here if that feels more comfortable. But before we go onto all fours, just take your hands really, really wide and spread your fingers. So think about as much width as possible from your thumb to your fingers. Spread, 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 so you feel the flesh between your fingers stretch, and then play the piano. Do that again, stretch them really, really wide. Play the piano, do that one more time. Stretch them really wide, really feel the flesh between digits one, two, and three. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Play the piano, okay? Good job. Now, come down here, stretch up, chin comes down so you get a little bit of mobility in the spine, hands are spread, and again, feel that width because this will actually help stay, stabilize the hand and the wrist. Push a little bit more into the thumb and the first finger specifically and that knuckle. Now, from here, just do a couple of cat cows. So let the head come up, let the tailbone ease out. So you're thinking length here, lovely people, from the crown of the head all the way to the tip of your tailbone. So you've got length there, breathe in. And then you're gonna to start to gently tuck the tailbone under. So think about this initiating from this part and it ripples all the way up through the body. Chin comes down, breathe in. And then let's go the other way. So you start to just think about the sequencing of this, opening up the chest, let the elbows here be open, because again, that will help the alignment here of the wrists. A little bit of push into the floor so you can feel that there's a little bit of active integrity between those parts. Last one here, breathe in and then come back. So in a stable position here, just bump the hips a little bit over to one side and you're just going to turn to look down the opposite shoulder. So you've got a nice side stretch here, bit of back mobility, all good relating to how the whole body works together. Take a deep breath in and then just reverse it on the other side. So bump the hips that way, just take a little glance over the shoulder, see how that feels today, take a deep breath in and then ease back. 
Okay, so I like to do a little wriggle here of my hips. And then from here, check that your shoulders are over your wrists. Push a little bit more firmly into the first digit and the first knuckle. And just start to draw circles with the upper body, with the shoulders over your hands. So you're starting to get a little bit of stimulation into the hands, into the wrists. Just gently see how this feels, okay? Being aware of the articulation that you have as you come maybe towards the little thumb, over towards your fingers, going through the digits. And as you start to feel a little bit more comfortable with this, you can explore and allow the body to come a little bit more further forward and work into the range. Come to a point of stillness, and we're gonna go the other way, okay? So come forward, and then ease round. Maybe the first couple, just take them small, and as you start to explore that range, you can be curious, inquisitive, uh, joyful about how much movement you can get into that body, okay? Just nice and gently. Okay, lovely people. Now come to a point of stillness, tuck your toes underneath you, and from here, if that feels comfortable to keep them tucked under, that's great because you're working on the articulation. If that feels a bit uncomfortable, keep them flat. But if you can go to tucking them under, that's great. Roll the hands up, stretch up tall, and what I want you to do is put the hands together in the prayer position. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way for you so you can see. So my hands are in the prayer position, my elbows together, and I'm just going to drop my fingers one way, take a deep breath in and they're gonna bring them to the center position and they're gonna take them the other way. So when I'm in this position, think about the distance between the ribs and the hips, so you're not slumped here, lift up tall, come back center and do the same thing. So my fingers go one way, this is brilliant for your wrist mobility, come back and then go this way, okay? Come back to the center position, get ready, we're gonna roll the arms up again and I'm just gonna spin the arms. So as I spin them one way, I really stretch the fingertips. So again, I'm feeding into that space between the digits of one, two, and three, some really neglected area. This helps the alignment, helps put stability and strength and relationship from the hand going up into the shoulder. Do that one more time, deep breath in. Stretch over, big reach over, good. How are we doing, all right? And this way, reach, 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 and then come down. Stretch the arms up, we're gonna come back onto all fours. So the hands are gonna come past your chin, just gently roll down through that body so you get that nice mobility, and come back to this position here. Now, from here, what I'd like you to do is extend this foot out. So a nice, strong push through the toes. So I've got middle toe, big toe, and little toe, pressing forward, energize through the head, and think about the distance between the pubic bone and the sternum, so I've got length in my body. You may well feel a little bit of opening over the hip flexors. Energize, almost think about imprinting that heel pad there at the back. Take a deep breath in, and then you're going to bump the hips a little bit towards that side and then just turn the other way to look over your shoulder. If you can, towards your toes so they're extended, that's great. Deep breath in. So a bit more of a stretch right through the whole body, but also activating the whole of the posterior part of the feet and also the body. Bring that foot in, just wriggle, let's do the other side. So take that foot back. Energize through the heel pad. That's where the energy is going through the heel pad, almost like you've been printing it to the back there. So press it through there. Think about big toe, middle toe, little toe, you've got that alignment. And then just take a deep breath in, energize through the head. So you start to feel how all of this is activated. These are subtle opening up um, stretches for the hip flexors, and we're going to build on that as we come back through this routine. So take a deep breath in, then just start to bump the hips over towards that side and ease to look there. Take a deep breath in. Good job, and breathe out. Come back to a center position, draw the legs in. Now, if you're ready, tuck the toes underneath you, keeping them intact under, I want you to just rise up onto your fingers. So can you raise your palms off the floor? How does that feel, okay? Just see how that is to today, and then ease them up that way. So you're now more on the heel, heel pad of your palm. Okay, do it again. So come up onto your fingers if you can, see how that feels, just be curious and then come back that way. Really good if you're using a lot of work on a computer screen, um, typing a lot, using your fingers, your digits. One more time, come this way and come there, okay? So spread your fingers, draw them back a little bit closer, and from here we're gonna tuck the toes underneath because we're gonna come to a standing position. So bring the weight back onto your heels, let the hands come back here. So again, you've got the integrity in your fingers, you're building that relationship, and then heavy in the tailbone, and then slowly just stay here a bit in a forward hanging bend, just to nod yes and nod no, take your time. Breathe in, lovely people, and breathe out. Just stretch a little bit, see how that feels at the back of the leg, posterior chain, and then heavy the tailbone, 
And in your own time, you're going to ease up nice and gently and fold. Come to the full height of your glorious body this bright morning today. Stretch tall at the top, deep breath in. Check the alignment between the ear lips and shoulders so you're not scratching there too much. And then spin the arms nice and wide. Okay, how are we doing? Now, come onto your chair. And from here, what I'd like you to do, I'm just going to bring my chair a little bit forward. From here, sit forward so that you're actually sitting more on your bum bones here. Now, with one foot, what I'd like you to do is just tuck the toes underneath you. So if it's my hand, I'm doing this. So you'll feel a little bit of stretch maybe down the front of the shin, but also quite an interesting stretch at the front of your foot. Um, it's not an area that we often stretch, but it's so important actually because it will relieve those muscles and it will also help with the mobility of your feet as well. So if you want to bring that foot back a little bit, so we open up here and work on that length, that's fine. Take a deep breath in, stay in this position, breathe in, really feel the height of your body, so you're not putting all the weight down into that foot. And then you're just gonna ease and turn towards the other leg that's extended. This one comes behind here, so we just have a nice little side stretch, deep breath in. And then come back, good job. Take the arms up, okay, bring them in front, stretch the fingers really wide, wide, wide and then bring that foot back and change the other side. So keeping those fingers wide, so you're building the endurance of your hands, take the other foot back, okay? You explore where you wanna put your foot. So as you come back and repeat that, you can find what feels good for you. Opening up here, good job. And then from here, take the arms up. A little bit of stretch at the front of the foot, lift, lift, lift. This hand comes down, spin this one behind you, lift up nice and tall, stretch and ease. So we've got some back mobility here opening up of the torso, stretching fingertips on our body, and also a little bit of an opening here, the hip flexor and also the foot. It's doing so much. Deep breath in, and then ease and come forward. Stretch those fingertips again, really, really wide. Feel the flesh between digits one, two, and three. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring that foot here. Wriggle the fingers of happiness. Are you ready? We're gonna to come to a standing position. Let's go. Stand up. Now, put the chair to one side. This is our last little stretch this morning, and our first focus on on hands and feet and hip flexors. So what I'd like us to do is take the arms above the head and you can either have a wall or you can do this with a chair. So you can actually have a chair here and do the same thing. I'm actually gonna use a wall because I quite like to have the extra range. So from here, stretch up nice and tall and then you're gonna just bring the hands onto the wall or onto the side counter, whatever feels comfortable for you. And you just wanna stretch your feet so you've got that hip distance apart and make a triangle shape from your feet coming all the way up. So this is your, your floor, this is my perpendicular line, and your body from your heels, your knees, your hips, and extend through the crown of the head. That's your diagonal line. So just think about growing through that line. You might feel a bit of a stretch in the calf muscle, okay? Take a deep breath in, and now start to articulate through the foot, so you're now ideally at the junction, you're working towards being at the junction between the pad of your foot and your toes. Take a little look down, think about how you have the alignment, maybe through big toe, middle toe, little toe. Little toe may not be on the ground because it's a little bit short, but the symmetry is there through the foot. Bring the feet back and then lift the heat toes off. So you start to get maybe a bit of a stretch through the back chain of the body. Come forward again, peel through, get the alignment through the feet. So you're just waking up the feet specifically, open with the torso. One more time, heels come down and stretch up. Deep breath in. Now from here, people, we're gonna change the shape. So from a triangle, I'm gonna become a square. So what I mean by that is the bottom uh, of one of the sides is going to be the floor. And then the parallel line to the floor is from your hands, your shoulders, right to your pelvis, through your back. So just think about lifting up through the tailbone. So I've often talked about a piece of string on your butt cheek. This time it's going straight up to the ceiling, so it gives you a little bit of opening here. Now that's brilliant to actually help open up the whole of this area. The back gets really tight into your hamstring. So this will help with your stride, and it will also help with the alignment through the hip flexors at the front as well. So take a deep breath in here. Be relaxed in the hands, so you're not gripping in the shoulders. That's important. Just play piano maybe with the fingers. And then from here, come up onto your toes again, okay? Now from here, spin the, el spin, spin the elbows, spin the ankles one way, and this time bring them down. Ease the bottom back, a bit like a trapezium shape this time, rather than your box stretch. And just think about maybe a little bit of stretch through one side, lifting your butt cheeks up, take a deep breath in. Good, and then come the other way. So you're working through the articulation of the feet. You've gone through the toes, the heels come down, press the bottom back, lift up through the butt cheeks, you get a nice long stretch, 
maybe a bit of stretch through the hamstrings, see how that feels today, relax in the shoulders, piano play the fingers, and then come back to a central position. Heels come down, and now bend the knees, walk the feet in a little bit, and as you come up, nice and gently, how you doing? You're gonna stretch here at the top, last stretch now, take the foot behind you, and just have a nice sort of split stance, so you feel that you've got a little bit of an opening here on that hip flexor, Push that knee forward, draw in here, and we're just gonna take three deep breaths in, so we're starting to open up that area. Here we go. Take a deep breath in, breathe in, and breathe out. And if you feel that you wanna have a chair here for a little extra balance, that's absolutely fine. Remember, the most important thing is the quality of the movement pattern rather than the quantity. Take a deep breath in, okay? And we're gonna bring that foot in and change to the other side. So here's my split stance. Explore with what feels right for you, okay? So come up onto that active foot, open ankle, ease that forward. So I'm pushing forward as one unit from the knee and the hip. So that's where I'm feeling the hip flexor. Lift up through here, so it's the hip flexor that gets the stretch. And then we've got those three deep breaths. This is the last bit. Here we go, deep breath in. And breathe out, whoops, a bit more here today. And again, deep breath in and breathe out one more time nice deep breath in breathe in and breathe out now from here bring the hands in we're going to finish this session this is our first session of three so take the arms out nice and wide get ready to hug the loving lovely people how are we doing are you okay leave me a little comment below let me know how you feel stretch in squish it squish it in so really feel good today let the chin come down let the corners of the mouth rise up take a deep breath in and breathe out Good, and as we do that, unfold the arms so we create the symmetry in the body. Hug that love in again, get ready to squeeze it in. Deep breath in, squish it down, and breathe out. Good job, and get ready. We're going to send our love around the world all together. After again, three, here we go. One, two, three. Whoosh. It's gone. Thank you so much, lovely people. That was my morning it's to body boost and a specific focus on your hands and your feet and your hip flexors. So we're gonna build on that. What I'd love you to do is come back and repeat that before I teach live again on Wednesday at 8 a.m. and also Friday at 8 a.m. Because by doing your little challenge of five days, doing that consistently, you'll really notice a bit of an improvement in the alignment of your hands and your feet and of your hip flexors and it all works together. So go do it people, have a lovely, lovely day and I hope you feel zing-a-zing-zing. Zing. Leave me a comment below, take care. See you soon, bye-bye.